After I met Jesus that day, I pursued him for an entire year. I was reading my word, I was praying, I was still transgender during this time. And a year later, I was living with my ex at the time, um, bought the ring, you know, about to start my life with this person, and I'm in the prayer closet, and I'm like, God, why am I not seeing breakthrough in my life? I'm doing everything you asked me to do, and all of a sudden, God speaks to me and gives me a vision. And he says, in, in this vision, there was a man and a woman on one side, and then on the other side, there was a man and a man and a woman and a woman. The man and the woman had babies. It was like glowing really bright, and it was like generations went down the line, and then on the other side, with the man and the man and the woman and the woman, there was a red line under their feet and it was black because you, you can't recreate life that way. So I'm staring at this like vapor, like this vision in front of my face and God speaks to me and he says, I made man and woman so you could recreate and share the good news of my son, Jesus Christ. And, and he says, if the devil can convince somebody, a little boy or a little girl, a man or a woman, that they are gay, lesbian or trans, he said, not only is the devil going against my will because the devil's will is always against God's will, but the devil is wiping out entire family bloodlines and generations of people that I intended to be born will not exist for my glory. So I just remember feeling, wow, I've been really selfish my whole life. Everything in my life was based on my feelings. Oh, I feel like I'm a lesbian. I feel like I'm trans. I feel like God hates me. And, and I was wrong. God loved me the entire time. I just had no idea about it because unfortunately his people.